Hello, yes, this is your girl, Clean the Commentary, and we are back with another video. So we are talking about the infamous Britney yet again, okay? And all her posts that she's been putting up, you know, sending like, you know, mixed messages or, you know, a little bit cryptic uh, messages about her and James, okay? But before we get into it, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe if you have not already. Um... Leave us a comment and cut your notifications on. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So let's talk about this message. I wanted to talk about it in the last video, but I couldn't find it. But I have it now. She says she missed talking to grandmas. When did she ever talk to grandmas? I just want to know. Okay. She said they don't make them like that no more. How do you know what they make? They do make them. They and they don't, they're not even eighty anymore. Cause see, you don't have to be old in age, per se, to help others. All right, age has nothing to do with experience, especially when it comes to the word, Brittany. Okay, um, no more uh, uh, grandmas. I see young. I want to go to the old folks' home just to sit and hear some knowledge and some old tale stories. Uh, you don't have to do that, Brittany. I, I can, you know what? Let me tell you an old tale story right now. Okay, it was a little lady out here, and people was telling her what she was doing and how she was doing it, and it was incorrect. And that girl never, ever, ever, ever listened. She kept doing what she wanted to do, kept bumping her head, and then one day, boom, everything just come tumbling down. Okay, now had she listened to people, she could have avoided a lot strife misery and mistakes okay she wasted a lot of her time making mistakes and falling down explaining that she's human had she just admitted that yeah i have some wrong that i need to write if she had just listened and did what she was supposed to do then all this stuff that's happening or all the stuff that happened then because it's an old wives tale uh-huh wouldn't have happened okay will you listen Brittany? Okay, so she put this out for, I guess, us content people or for her commenters. I love how y'all don't know nothing, but think y'all do. It's hilarious. Keep guessing, boogies. This is so much fun. It's fun to fool people. It's fun to lie. It's fun to try to confuse people. Yeah, she, Brittany is definitely a what? A Jezebel. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't know that? Yeah, she is definitely a Jezebel. Mm -hmm. For once in my life, the internet doesn't know my business. Yeah, because you're not saying anything and there's nothing really to tell. You get what I'm saying? See, we over there on James's page and James ain't mentioning jack about you. You keep on posting and, and, and doing this and doing that, trying to make it seem like y'all in a relationship. Baby, you're not in no relationship that's healthy. Who are you trying to fool? How about this? Just sit back and relax a little bit. Okay? Do what you're supposed to do, which is to bring happiness out here. Stop telling your confusing stories. Honey, you don't even know. It's confusing you. You don't even know what's going on. Okay? He running away from you like he in a goddamn racetrack somewhere. He don't want no parts of you. Okay, so she put this out too, y'all. Pregnancy hits different when your baby's father cares. Pregnancy hit different when your baby's father cares. Mm -hmm. Always there when you need him. Reassuring you can do this and that you are the perfect mom for your babies. Now, I don't know if this is somebody else's quote. She just put this up on her page or whatever. And this is, she's insinuating. I don't know if she's insinuating that James is doing these things or he ain't nothing because he's not doing. You see you see how it is? It, it, it's confusing. So we're going to just say that this is something her wishful thinking, her mind is drumming up. She wants us to think that they're really together. Or she wants us to think that, oh, it's her choice that she's not with James. Fulfilling every outrageous craving, rubbing your belly, your back, whatever you need, talking to your baby, talking to your baby, baby, I thought you was having two, two, Ugh, here she go taking somebody else's quote and placing it up on her page. 
She keeps forgetting. She's saying she having twins. Why is it always baby this and baby that? What about babies? See, a Jezebel spirit can barely do one thing right. They cannot do two. They don't know how to multitask. Okay? They don't know how to be a wife and a mother. They don't know how to be a wife and, uh, you know, an uh, influencer. Or they don't know how to do both. They don't know how to work and be a mother and be, you know, someone's wife or someone's girlfriend. They don't know how to be a friend. They don't know how to multitask. And she doesn't even know how to give both of her babies that's in, in that she's carrying attention. She refers to the twins as baby. And we ain't going to even talk about them other children. Once them darn babies get here, or baby whatever, oh, little little Caroline can can, can, can go whatever, then, then she probably will be with her dad more at that time because she going to need the help. Okay? Talking to your baby just as anxious as you are to hold and welcome it into the world. Welcome it to wel what, what, what we doing? What you mean, it? It's a baby. It's a human, sis. So she went from baby to it. Blessed isn't even the word. So what is it? You don't know if you're carrying one baby, two babies. You don't know if you're carrying a human or an it. See, she doesn't have any heart. Jezebel's spirit doesn't have any heart, any emotion, any empathy. She's just putting up words. And we're supposed to think, oh, this is so endearing and this is about her and her relationship with her man. No. Here it go. Here, here it is again. You're talking about you don't tell your business. But, baby, you tell your business even when you don't want to, even when you don't even purposely do it, honey. We can read these posts and understand there is so much confusion in your head. And you trying to spread that out amongst us as content people and people who watch you on it every day. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. You're not going to confuse me because the proof is in the pudding. You can't keep a, 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 a charade up for, for forever. It's going to it's gonna come and prove itself. Just like that there in belly that ain't growing much bigger. It's the, the, you, stressing them, you stressing yourself out. Baby, that can't even grow. You in so much pain getting your lips done, not drinking water, not, not eating. What you're trying to do is say that we out here and we ain't got our own brains. We got our own brains. We can see. What, when y'all do a video together and he rubbing on your belly and he and you doing the baby mama song, if that your baby mom, if you, when you do that with James, then maybe I'll say, okay. But he off making videos with other people. You making videos with that friend of yours. It's obvious things are not together when it comes to you and James. Now, this is a comment that I am going to read, okay? This was a comment that was under one of her posts, y'all. And, you know, I read the comments. You know, I'm one of those people. When I see a post... I go straight to the comments because you guys are more interesting sometimes than the content. And, you know, so we love our commenters on here. Your friend in Inner Circle came out and said, your friend, okay, and this is to Brittany, okay? Your friend in Inner Circle came out and said you were cheating the whole time you were together, which is probably why you won't give your due date. Now, this was under a post, uh, oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys what post this is from. So, hold on. Child, I think it was under the post where she was talking about, um, you know, people tearing down each other and things like that. And I'm going to release a video on that soon. So, make sure you have your notifications set so you can get that um, notification. But, yeah. I think she already taken it down. That's why, honey, you got to get up in there real quick, search them during comments, screenshot, and stuff like that. But since um, I did go over her page, she put something else up. Okay, just now. So many people from your past knows a version of you that no longer exists. Uh, it still exists, boo-boo, because if it didn't exist, they would look really ridiculous talking about it. You get what I'm saying? If it was not true, they would 
look ridiculous, it, it would be no proof of it. Like, oh my gosh, Brittany? Brittany would never do that. What are you talking about? She's just so sweet. When four and five and ten different people are saying the same thing, more than likely, it's true. Okay? I have my own eyes. I have my own experiences with you as well. You know, when people are saying stuff about, you know, somebody, and then I have my own experience with you, and then I experience it, it as well, honey, okay? And a person who is growing doesn't have to say they're growing. It shows. God's people know what I'm talking about. He said, judge a man by his fruits. I don't got to tell you I've changed. I ain't got to tell you, oh, um, I used to, you know, have this, or I used to have that, or I, I have grown. You will know me. If you've known me over the years, if you've watched my videos over the years, you will see the the, the subtle progression of, of my attitude, of my content, of how I deliver. It just it just shows. I don't have to show off and say, I've changed. I'm this. I'm not this. Mm -mm. Because after a while, all of that wears away. God can change you just like that. You go forth. You don't do the same stuff no more, people. You know, you can make a lie out of people just by just gracefully changing and never going back to your old ways. But you're constantly going back to your, your ways. In fact, it's not going back. You have to leave it alone to go back. You've been the same person. In fact, you're getting worse. Growth is beautiful. Don't ever forget how far you have come. Uh-huh. And that's another thing that Jezebel always doing. Gratifying themselves. Okay, you not going to boost me up? I'm going to boost myself up. I'm going to keep talking about myself. So let's get back to this comment. She said, your friend and inner circle came out and said you were cheating the whole time you were together. So basically she's saying that when she was with James, she was cheating on James. Now, I don't know how she cheating on James. I don't know how James is mad because James, you know, knew that she was married. She was still in a marriage. Whether you separated or not, you're married into that divorce decree. And, of course, that is, you know, earthly because unless there was some contention in the situation where you guys were cheating more than likely and, 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 and Robert said that there was some cheating in the relationship. So, yeah, that says the marriage is done right there. But, I mean, really. Okay, you were cheating the whole time you were together, which is probably why you won't give your due date because the dates are not adding up. That is true. If you having baby showers, the least you can do is say when you do. Okay, so if you say when you do, you know, then it automatically, and this is what they say. Let me, let me read what she said. She said, if you have that baby in November, we know that it is not James. So the people who are saying that James is not the dad and James should be getting a DNA test, which is a, another thing that's circulating, that he did um, ask her for a DNA test and she refused. She's running away. She's like, no. So anybody who does that obviously is admitting guilt, is saying that you are you know, not telling the truth. You're not being completely transparent with the situation. So like I said on a, a few of my last videos, if he is not choosing a name, okay, if he's not cho choosing a name for his first set of children, his first children at all, and one of them is a boy, then that definitely says that, yeah, he feels he's not the dad. And he wants to basically wait until the babies are here before he gets attached or, or build any kind of um, relationship because really I mean who wants to you know some men as soon as you tell them they're you know you're pregnant or whatever boom you know they don't think you know that oh this is could be somebody else but apparently he was told something someone whispered in his ear he found out some things and he has a reason to feel that yeah these are not my baby so why even get connected you know why even build um, get get attached. He needs to get a DNA test from you and stay as far away from you as possible. You destroy every man that come in contact with you. Whew, I don't know who this lady is, but um, I'm sure she probably that I think that uh, comment was removed. <laughs> You know, and this was on her personal page, y'all. But I, when I went back to see if the comments were there, I didn't see it. Let me see, because you know how that go, y'all. 
You know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they be getting in there, the real deal, holy field people be getting in there. Uh-huh, but she just hurries up and she takes, you know, takes the, yeah, she, she she definitely deleted that one. So I'm glad that I got that comment, okay? Because I be in there just hurrying up because these darn people, people like herself, they get those comments like that and be like, bloop, bloop. And so you be thinking, at first before I started doing this, I'm like, why is everybody sitting here praising her and this, that, and the other? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody saying anything like what we be saying as content creators. Oh, they be saying it, they just don't be making it. They, they, the, the, the comment don't stay up. So she doesn't want to be uh, talked to by grandmas because the grandma's going to tell you where to go and how to get there. They're going to be like, uh-uh, sweetie, you doing this wrong. Stop going there. Stop doing this. Keep them things closed. Girl, stop doing it. Stop giving up that pearl, honey. You don't want to do that. That's your that's your main tool of feeling like you getting people because other than that, what, what else do you have but grief, misery, and strife to give? You know, I was taught don't get caught up on the feeling. I was I was raised by people who were 70 and 80 years old. You get what I'm saying? So I know how they talk and I know how they walk and they don't they they don't cut corners because when they were coming up this was not unheard of, but it was not something you talk about amongst people. It was not something that was accepted. You know, back in the day, if you had, if you were that type of person, oh, you, you, you were a lost cousin somewhere. They didn't even talk to you. They didn't even talk about you. They didn't even claim you. You having children before, before, before you were married, that was very frowned upon. And so those 80 year olds that you feel that you want to talk to, that's how they're going to talk to you. They're not going to, they're not going to transform to now. Uh -uh. That's not how they were raised. And so that's why each generation is getting weaker and more looser in their ways because, you know, those type of moms, them, them grandmas and granddads, they gone. That teaching is gone and they're making sure that that is nice and, you know, pushed down so nobody will even see it. So you're full of it because every time somebody tells you something, you get mad. And this is why the content... This content is, is, is doing well because those people who you always, are, you know, getting rid of their comments and not allowing them to express how they feel. You just want everybody under your comments to praise you and tell you how beautiful you are and all that. Guess what? They the friendly trolls. <laughs> they the ones who want to keep want to see you keep on going down the darn path of unrighteousness. You think you're building your stuff up with a whole bunch of people who genuinely like you, honey. They don't like you either because love is correction. They know darn well they would not do what you're doing. They are sitting there and getting entertained, telling you to go ahead and get another baby there. If you got another baby there next year, they'll support that too. And they'll keep supporting you the further you go down. Because the further you go up, it gets it gets a little lonely. Okay? The word says, wide is the road of destruction and narrow is the world is the road to divine or destiny or to God. So you want fame, baby, but it ain't about that. Jesus had 12 disciples and one of them didn't even do him right. When you living in, with God, your circle going to get so small, you could barely fit in it. That's how small the circle gets. But you don't want that, baby. You want everything what you get in fame, fortune, and notoriety, and you want people to tell you what you want to hear, and that ain't godly. And on that note, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Because if I say any more, it'll be too much. Thank you for getting to this part of the video, guys. I will see you next time.